guys. So, uh, I got my migraine to go away this morning. I did upload a short, and it was like ASMR because I didn't want to make too much noise. So, I did get the short up. It was Cats for Spickles. It was a cute little catafage pink one. But today, for the video, I figured we could do this. I found this at Five Below for, of course, $5. I believe it was, or $5.95 or something like that. Uh, but it is a Constellation project Projector. Sorry, I haven't had any caffeine yet. Um, but I thought it looked really cool. Like an actual little projector you can kind of put together yourself for $5. And I was like, you know what? For $5, I think that's worth the video, right? So we'll see how it goes. And if it looks cool, y'all can go grab one at Five Below. I don't know if they're still up there or not. I got this like in November, December, I believe, I want to say. But it looks pretty cool. I'm hoping it'll work. Uh, it does not come with batteries, so you'll need two AA batteries, I believe. Yeah, right there. So let's just go ahead and get the camera flipped, and you know right, the drill. So we've got the camera flipped, as you can see. And I did go ahead and grab my scissors and two AA batteries. Don't have to worry about that. So, up close of it, Constellation Projector. Includes stickers with NASA imagery. It's one kit, requires two AA batteries. Batteries not included, of course. Um... Project real star constellations on your ceiling. We'll see about that, but here's the back. And apparently I think that's all the, the stuff you get with it. All the contents. If you want to pause and read it real quick, let's go ahead and cut this and just get right into the box. And we've got some water here. So y'all make sure y'all stay hydrated too. So I mean for five dollars, it sounds like it would be really neat. You know, to get all that stuff. So, let's go ahead. It's cool. They, they taped it in there, if you can see that. Okay, guys, they taped it in here. I'm going to pause real quick and get all the stuff out. All right. I assume they taped it in there so you wouldn't, like, shake it. It wouldn't, like, move around and stuff. But... The first bag got out, and here is I assume like the little light source that we're gonna use. So let's go ahead and open this one first. See if the instructions are in here. Yep, instructions right there. I'm trying to keep everything on camera, but I can't quite see what I'm recording. So if stuff is out of focus or out of frame for a second, I apologize. I just can't see my screen. Okay. Carefully dump everything out. Don't want to lose anything. Stuck. Be gone. I gotta take out my trash too. I don't know what those are. Oh, okay. So these must be the stickers that you get. That's cool. Looking up close for y'all. The moon stick's really pretty. Uh, so, and these are the. I can't remember. Oh, constellation boards. There it is. That looks like two. I don't want to damage anything, so I'm trying to be careful when I'm taking them apart. Okay, there we go. Okay. So we'll get this one. And this one. That's cool. Okay. And here is the contents and the assembly instructions. So we're just going to follow that. There's a lot of in <laughs> assembly instructions. So this will be fun. It's probably going to be a little bit of a longer video. I assume we're going to have to punch these out to make the base. Probably. Oh. Stuff's already falling out. Alright, let's open this one. Let's see what we've got in here. It's a wooden dowel. It's on there, yeah. Yep, wooden dowel. I'm just making sure we have everything, too. Not stuck. Oh goodness. Don't know what this is. Like little foam blocks. I guess they're sticky on the back. I'm assume they are. I don't know. Double-sided foam stickers, probably. Get that. Little bag of plastic stuff. I'm not sure what they are. There's a pin in there, so I'm guessing we're going to have to 
poke holes in some of this stuff. And here's the battery and LED tray. So I'm probably going to have to hook up the LEDs. It's not focusing. Uh, to the little LEDs right there. And there, I don't know if I can see those yet. Okay. So. I'm just going to do this with y'all. So y'all kind of get a grasp of either how easy or how difficult it's going to be. Uh, with the switch off position, insert the batteries into the battery and LED tray in the correct directions. Okay. So it is off. Okay, off. We need to just oh. didn't tell me I needed a screwdriver. Luckily I have like tiny ones that I sit with by my desk. So uh warning ahead of time, you're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver or a flathead. Probably both would work, but it looks like it's for a Phillips head. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Slide it off. Where are the batteries? <laughs> All right. So, goes like that. One goes like that. Okay. Set it back on. Slide it back on. Put the screw back in. Oh, guys, this is going to be a long video. <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to be a long video. That's okay. At least I'm feeling better. I, I actually woke up with like a migraine this morning. And it was... If y'all know or have had migraines, y'all understand the pain. So I'd like, I had to take some medicine and then just like lay back down for a little bit. And so I, I started feeling better when I was making the short. Okay, so everything's back in. Still off. And so I decided to make the short, but I didn't want to like do any talking. To make anything worse, do you know what I mean? So, okay, two. Attach two of the foam circles. D. I'm guessing these, because these are the only foam circles we got. We got those. Uh, to the back of stand A, O, and stand B. Do I need to punch these out or? I'm gonna. Not really labeled. Nothing is really labeled on here. I'm guessing we have to punch this stuff out. Yeah, it's not labeled. It just shows you what it looks like right there. So I'm going to assume, because they aren't labeled, that which which way is the back though? Attach two of the thumb circles D to the back of stand A and stand B. So, so we're gonna punch those out. Okay, so that's easy. Just kind of come right off without too much problem. Be gone. A and B. I'm going to punch this one out. I'm going to not punch them out until we need them, just so it's not too chaotic. Okay, put that right there. Okay, so. Okay, that's easy too. Just comes right off. It looks like the holes are punched out on it. Yeah. Holes are punched out on it, so we're going to do that too. I'm just doing what the instructions are doing. So if this is not turning out right, it's either uh, because I'm just a big old dumb dumb dumb, or <laughs> they didn't label anything, and they probably should have. Okay, so peel that off. Okay. Uh, it looks like it's right here on there, so that's what we're going to do. don't know which way is the front, which way is the back. It didn't tell me. It's not labeled. So those, those were good. Is it right? Probably not. This is still going to work. Hopefully. Hopefully it'll still work. Right, put that right there. Like so. Okay. Step two is a done. Step three. Place four of the double-sided foam stickers onto the battery and LED tray, two on each side below the sliding door. Okay, so the sliding door is right here. So, where? Why do they need to be on here? Okay, so it'll stick to that. 
So below the sliding door, I'm assuming they mean on this part and not on the sliding door itself. So we're gonna do that. Two on each side, okay. So I'm just trying to peel this off. Like so. Okay. Put one right there. They really actually don't fit right home right there, but you know. We do our best. Okay. I wonder if they mean on this side. I don't think they mean on that side. Oh, oh well. They should be more specific with their instructions. I'm just getting two more. Uh oh, that one came off. So I'm just going to put it right there. Like that. And this one's just kind of peeling off, so I'm going to peel it off. And put it right there. Okay. Now. With the power switch facing up, attach the battery and LED tray to the stand B. Make sure the top of the battery and LED tray is flush with the bottom edge of the foam circle. Okay. Okay, so that's the power switch. So it needs to be facing up. And they have it where the wires are going that way. So I assume they mean like this, so you can lift it up and take off the case if you need to so we're just we're gonna do that i'm gonna peel them off this side right here because they're double-sided okay and i'm just, i'm literally just doing what the picture is showing right there in step four. Uh oh <clears throat> flush with it y'all can't see what i'm doing i apologize just like that okay actually sticks like that. Nice. Okay, okay. Now, with the back vertical, insert the LED port M through stand B. On, let me pause and see which one is the LED port M. Okay, totally forgot, guys. They do have stuff labeled on the contents. It totally slipped my mind. So, they do technically have stuff labeled. It's just, it would be nice if it was labeled on the stuff. Um, so the LED port M is that one. I'm not quite sure what that is. I'm assuming it's one of these. So that's kind of what it looks like. Or it might be specifically that one. I'm not sure. And then again, I'm going to pause it because there's screws and spacers in there too. I'm going to pause it real quick and try to figure it out. Okay, guys. Uh, this is probably the LED port. Because the LED can slip into there. Ooh. Oh, I dropped it. My bad. We got another one. It's the LED. Um, so, take it. And you slip it in through the bottom one. This is what it looks like. I'm just doing what the instructions say. It says to the back vertical, insert. It's got to really push it in there. Are we sure it's that one? Yeah, it's, it looks like it's... There we go. Okay. You just got to really kind of push it in there. Okay. Now insert one of the LEDs through the LED port. Oh, you can't see. I'm sorry. Uh, with the short leg on the left and the long leg on the right. Okay. Better switch it that way then. So it needs to be like that. So it's facing like that. Okay. Which way was okay? Short leg on the left. So we're gonna insert it like that, as you can see. Shorter leg is over there. Like so. Okay. So the LED goes on like that, looks like that. It should look like this according to the picture. All right, and touch the black wire. So this is the black one. I'm just gonna show you all the instructions. Attach the black wire to the short leg and the red wire to the long leg. Okay, 
So this one goes on the short one. Yeah, just kind of slide it on there. Y'all can't see, I'm sorry. Okay, that's on there, nice and secure. And the red one to the long leg. Okay, just double checking, I don't want to goof it up. So this is the red one. One, two, uh-oh. There we go. I pushed it all the way on just to make sure it was touching and connecting. Okay. Make sure the LED legs do not touch. So, they're not touching. All right. Eight, test your connections by sliding the switch on the battery tray to the on position. All right, so let's test it together. There's the switch. There's the LED. I'm going to flip it on. There we go. That's working. That's great. That's fantastic. For $5 so far, this is pretty neat. It's going to be a long video, guys. I'm sorry. So buckle up and grab a snack. But I think when it's all said and done, this is going to be pretty neat. All right, so... I'm going to go on to nine. And hopefully if y'all picked up this kit and you were having any problems, maybe I helped you. I hope I could. I'm not helping myself. <laughs> okay, attach stand A. This, I'm going to call this one A because it's got all the stuff on it. Uh, attach stand A to battery and LED tray. Make sure the top of the battery LED tray is slush with the bottom edge of the foam circle. We did that already. Ten, fold the top of stand B. On stand A, then slide the wooden dowel through. Attach the feet to the bottom of both stand A and B. It's going to look something like that. I'm going to pause real quick and get all the pieces put together, and then we're going to slide it all into place. Okay, guys, I think I got it kind of figured out. It's the, inch the picture is not very clear, but this is stand A and stand B. So, uh, I think the wooden dowel has to go through here, like that. And this folds over this way so the light sits like that. Maybe not like that. So I'm going to push, start right here, that one. Got to really kind of wiggle it in there. And then, now it has to go through here. I don't want to get the wires mixed up or anything or messed up. Come on. Ready, please. Kind of really got finagle it a little bit. All right. So, um, yeah, it goes through like that. No, it doesn't go through. <laughs> it goes, no, I've messed it up, guys. Hold on. Okay. goes through like that, and then this top part comes over here like that. It, come on, pretty please, thank you. So, Essentially, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to look like this. Something like that. Okay, I'm going to push this all the way through. I didn't tell you how far to put it through. It looks like it's about halfway. So, we're going to do that. And then we put the feet onto the bottom of both stand A and B. Um, these, which ones are the feet? The ones with the flat bottoms. So these two right here are the fan. I'm going to punch these out and put them on real quick. Got them punched out of the larger piece. Put those over there. And they're supposed to go on right here. So I guess like that. Okay, do this one. Slide them on in right there. All right. So far, so good. Okay. Do the next part. We we'll haven't placed the constellation board pieces on top of a sheet of cardboard and poke holes through the white circles using the pen. So essentially, like I've done this in Girl Scouts and stuff, and then we put them over like lampshades and stuff. It's really cool. But you take the pen, which is this right here. They put it in a little piece of foam for you, and I'm going to do this off camera. But what you do is you lay it on like a piece of foam or something soft and something and you punch out just each of the little uh, white dots on every single piece. So that's going to take me a little bit. I'm going to do that and then I will be right back. But it, it's, it's fairly easy. You just take the pen and then puncture it through. You might have to push a good deal, but you should be able to do it. And I will be right back. All right, and I'm back. I did punch out all the little holes as you can see. 
and it wasn't actually too terribly difficult. It went through pretty easily, so you don't have to push hard. And if you want to, you can probably use the cardboard from the box that everything came in and just kind of put it on top and push them through. So all that's done. So we're gonna set that aside over here and get a drink of water, because we need some water. Okay, next step is you peel one side of the double-sided foam stickers, line them up and firmly stick them around the constellation hoop, E, where indicated. So I'm going to guess that this part is the actual hoop that we're gonna need. Let's double check. Yes, so that's the constellation hoop, so we're gonna have to punch everything out of there, which is okay. It's good that we're using most of the parts of this, so it's not too wasteful or anything. So here's the hoop. And I am going to, it's going to take a while, so I'll do one with y'all. I'm just going to, okay, so a couple came off. Peel one of the sides off. And it looks like there's one, it doesn't tell, oh, okay, so this is the black side. We're going to do the black. <laughs> oh, I need some caffeine. Um, let's put one right here, so that there, it looks like there's one right there. And I'm going to go ahead and do all of these that are on here. Y'all don't need to see the whole process. Just line the outside with it and you should be good. So I'm going to do that real quick and I will be right back. Okay, we're getting there. I just, it's going to take me a good minute. Right? Step 12 is done. I tried to space them out as best I could just kind of eyeballing it. But if we need extras, they did include a few extras, I think. Hopefully. I don't know if we're going to need another step. Step 13. Place each constellation board piece facing up then fold the outer flaps up and inside the flaps down make each fold at a sharp 90 degree angle okay so these are the flaps i'm gonna guess they mean to bend it down that way at like a 90 degree angle so just on all these i assume we're gonna go around and kind of fold them down. At the best kind of 90 degree angle I can. Kind of. I'm working on it. I don't know if we need that little piece right there or not. Probably not because it comes out pretty easily. So I'm going to go around and bend all of these like this and then I will be right back. All right and I'm back which was literally no time for y'all at all. But I got everything folded. And the next step is to place each constellation board facing down. Slide the center corner of each arm under the arm in front of it. The dome will begin to take shape as you slide each arm under the neck. So you're basically starting to make the dome. I am going to make my life easier and use a little bit of tape underneath them to make them kind of stick and not block up any holes or try to not block any holes. But essentially... It just means uh, there's a little indent right here, right there. Uh, take that, and essentially it just goes like that. So it's not blocking anything, it's not doing anything. I'm going to flip it and tape like the bottom part right there. So I'm going to take a little bit of tape, just so it stays like that, just like that. So I don't have to worry about it like coming undone or anything. Then you take the next one, and you slide it. Sorry, like that. There we go. Onto that one. I'm going to flip it and tape it on the bottom right there so it doesn't move. And it's not blocking any holes or doing anything else. I'm, I'm double checking the flaps aren't blocking the holes. So that's essentially what you do. Uh, this one, the one in front goes under, on top <laughs> like that. And then you can either leave it like that, keep going, or tape it. I'm just going to tape it, and then I will be right back. All right. So it's one half. There's the other half. You can see it's pretty much a dome. I assume they're going to fit underneath each other like that, and then I'll eventually have to tape them. But so far, this is not too bad. For $5, it's keeping me entertained for a good, like, 20, 25 minutes. <laughs> All right. 
uh, did that, make sure the sticky portion of each of the stickers is exposed, slide a piece of the constellation board through the hoop, then match the outer flaps with the constellation hoops and markings. Um, was I supposed to do it on the black side? It's on the, in the picture, it's the black side. So, I don't know if they mean to unstick it and then stick it like that. Maybe we might try that. I might try doing that and see how that goes. This is slide it underneath. Piece of the constellation board through the hoop, then match the outer flaps. I don't think they mean to do that because they had it like folded inwards. It's far to do that. That would look a little bit better, but it's on the wrong side. So I don't know. I'm going to take a minute and figure out which way they mean. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm, I might have goofed up, but I think what they mean is to do something like this and then you're going to stick them like underneath like that and then you have to check for gaps with the light. So if you were to do it like that, there would be a lot of gaps. Um, again, the picture shows the stickies being on the black side in the picture. I assume they mean the white side. So if y'all are doing this at home, make sure you put the stickies on the white side so when you flip it, it'll look like that instead. I goofed up, I can't unstick them now, but we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to do a couple of them off camera and then show y'all what it's supposed to look like and then I'm gonna try to put it all together and then I will come back with the like dome intact. But for y'all's reference, I goofed up. Don't put it on the black side because it's probably wrong. Put it on the white side, but I can't undo it. So I will be right back. Just give an example. Kind of slide it through the bottom like this. It's gonna sit like that. And what I'm doing is I'm going one at a time and I've folded them frontwards instead of the back way. Uh, unstick one of the little stickies right here. And you just take one of the tabs and you flush it up and it's like that. It's not focusing. And then just make sure it's nice and stuck on there like that. And that's it. And I'm going to go around and do all of them. And then this side and then tape them on the inside because it does say to tape them, I believe, on the inside. So I will be right back after I get all those done. But it's pretty easy. It's just a little TD. So you unstick it, put the tab, do the next one. All right, one half is done. Again, uh, I should have put the tabs on the white side because it's, it's gonna look like that. But I didn't because in the picture it was black. But that's my mistake, don't do that. Just put them on the white side. But so far, so good. Uh, this, this is essentially what it looks like. I did end up taping some of them because I put the tabs <laughs> too far apart, but that's okay because I've got extra tape. I'm gonna go ahead and do the second part of the dome and then I will be right back. I forgot to mention, but this is like a, a, a tape that you can use on the outside of the dome right here because there are little bits peeking through that I can't quite get to line up without it messing up the other part. So I'm going to use a little bit of this on the very top right there. All right, good news. <laughs> Got everything put together. I did have to use a tiny bit of tape on top. I said to use it on the bottom, but then there was like a white piece like showing through on top. So I just did it the other way because it shows you to do it like that, which I did not do. I just used regular tape. Here's what the inside looks like. Just for your reference. And now we need to test it, so we are gonna. I'm gonna turn off a couple of lights real quick. Oh, that light's on. We're gonna leave that one on then and turn off this one holding the phone. There we go. And we're gonna see if it works. So turn it on. LED still working. That's good. And then we put this on top. And you see how the lights are shining through? So that's working, that's pretty good. There's not really too many gaps. I might go back in with some of the black tape because there's a little bit on this side. It's kind of showing through and I'll tape it up. But let's go ahead and move on to the next part. Turn the lights back on. The light. Oh, let's switch it to the wrong one. There we go. Turn that one on and turn this one on. And there we go. We've got light and some water. Drink some more water, guys. Okay, next step. 
we checked it. Attach foam circles to the platform F. So this is the platform. So we need the other two circles. I don't know which side, because there's two sides. And they go inward. So I'm gonna guess they're probably gonna go on the inside, because you usually don't see them, because they're like that on the inside. So we're gonna do that and hope that it's right. Yeah, because it looks like we're gonna slide it over the dowels, so it needs to be on the inside. All right, let's get to it then. Sorry, this is a long, long video, guys. I didn't realize this was gonna be this long. I didn't know I had this much to put together, but we do. <laughs> That's okay. And I'm kind of keeping all the trash in the box so it's not everywhere, I suppose. So it's not too messy. So since we're doing stuff, what have y'all been up to? Let me know in the comments how your week's been going. If anything fun or new has happened or, you know, if anything's sad and you're sad. I want to hear about that too. I'm sorry if you're sad and stuff's going on. Ooh, there's just not enough room on this desk. I have a small desk for crafting, not for putting together constellation stuff. Like that, we're good. Make sure the dowel can go through. This is probably gonna have to go through. All right. Uh, fold one of the arms down and slide it through the wooden dowel until the flat form center hole lines up with the LED. So here's the LED gonna punch that out so the LED can go through there and it doesn't say which way is which it looks like the battery pack is right here and this piece in the back right there because there's one on that side not that side so it looks like it's supposed to go like that so we're gonna do that and hope that it's right because it's not really necessarily telling me. I'm gonna punch out the holes though. I don't know if we need them or not. Probably don't need them. All right, so I'm gonna go like that. I'm gonna pick it up and slide that onto there. It's y'all probably can't see what I'm doing. I'm sorry. Sliding on there. And there's the LED. I'm gonna try to. Oh, that should be a pain. So let's move the rod back a little. Uh oh, rod back a little bit, so we can kind of. Oh, I'm messing up the LED. Okay, so LED is right there. Move the dowel back. Oh, really gotta wiggle it. Hold on, gotta put it down a second. So we can. No, LED, go in there. Dowel goes in there. Okay, now we slide it back. We slide, slide it back. I really gotta manhandle this thing. Okay, okay, there we go. That, oh, a leg fell off. Hold on. Malfunction. There we go. Okay, legs are back on. LED's through. Kind of. Debatably. The gray part isn't going through the hole, and I don't want to force it because then it might mess up the LED. I might have to tape that on there. It's, the feet really aren't staying. Y'all can't see anything that I'm doing because I'm a professional. Okay, this is what we got so far, guys. Y'all can probably see that. <laughs> okay. Pull the other arm onto the wooden dowel. Adjust if necessary. We already did that. All right. Attach a spacer B to each platform hole using a screw. Okay, so those are the platform holes. I'm guessing. And then you place the constellation dome on top. Okay, and then that's what these are for to hold the dome on top. Okay, I gotcha. Hold on. 
So these are the little screws. And these are the spacers. There's, they just go right through. So uh, it looks like the screw is on the bottom. Y'all can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm going to poke that through. Go away. Poke that through. I'm going to screw the spacer on the top right there. And so all of them need to look like this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera to all of them. And then I'll be right back. All right, we're all done. That's what it should... That leg keeps falling off. Uh, that's what it should look like so far. Got all the spacers on. And now... Let's see. Place the Constellation Dome on top of the platform. Why is the tape coming off? I think the tape's coming off. All right. So it just fits easily, just like that. Or it should fit, because it's basically the same shape. And now we take these, pop them off. Need that one. Don't need the cardboard part. And last one. And place the tabs over each set of the spacers, then finish by securing the Constellation Dome to the flat platform with screws. So the rest of the screws are right here. So essentially, I'm going to take this, I'm going to pop these out like that. And we're going to place it on like that, and it's going to sit right against the dome. And you take the screw. And you screw it into the spacer right there. Just like that. The, the dome is moving, but it should, in theory, hold them all together. I'm going to pick it up, kind of show y'all what I'm talking about. You can't see. It goes inside right there. Screw it into the spacer if it wants to go in, right? This one doesn't want to go in there. We're going to pick up another one. There we go. Nope. Uh-oh. Not quite. It doesn't seem to want to go in to this one. This one go? Okay. That one will go. I'll put that back on top. in place. I'm going to put the dome, slide it back in there, and then screw it on. So when all these are nice and screwed in, it will keep the dome in place. So I'm going to go ahead and do this to the other two, and then we'll be right back. All right, guys. So for this part, I'm just kind of holding the phone for this. That was the last step. Got all the tabs on them, just like that. I'm going to pick it up, even though the leg is going to fall off. It's supposed to look like that. Just overall, this is what it looks like. I think it's pretty neat. For $5, it kept me entertained for a little while. So for like older kids, I think this would be a fun craft. It's a little uh, tedious in some parts, but I think it's fun overall. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Where's the on switch on the other side? Let's turn it on. On should be on, yep. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the lights and see how it does. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, it's still pretty early, it's like three o'clock in the afternoon, but I think that's pretty neat. Of course, you can see like the light through like the little spaces and the gaps and stuff, but for only five dollars. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to wait till really late at night and get another clip for y'all. So we can maybe see some... I'm going to move it. See some other constellations. Because my fabric background isn't straight. I'm going to put it against the wall later tonight. But I think that's pretty cool for what it is. So. I mean, $5. If I blow, it looks really neat. It's... A fun little project to kind of put together yourself. 
so I think it's worth it. Um, let me know what y'all think in the comments, and the next clip is just going to be late at night. I'm going to put it, like, against the wall or something to see how well it really shows up when it's actually nighttime outside. So I will see y'all so like in a minute. ish at night. It's dark out. It's on, as you can see. Uh, so I'm going to turn off this light real quick, and then I'm going to put it on the ceiling to see how well it actually does, considering it's battery-powered. All right. So you can see it's projecting a little bit on my computer and stuff that is off right now. It looks pretty cool as like a nightlight kind of thing, but let's pick it up. Pick it up right there. All right. And oh, that looks really cool. Oh, it's I don't think it's picking up on camera. Let's see if it focus. Focuses? No, maybe not. I'll turn it a little bit. In person, you can actually see like constellations on the ceiling. That's really neat. It's unfortunately not really picking it up on camera, which I'm a little upset about, but I <laughs> can't really do anything about that. I will try to take some pictures with my night focus, uh, cause that does a lot better. And I will include them uh, probably just on screen somewhere so y'all can see, but it's really cool. I do recommend this. So if you see this at five below, you want to pick it up it is actually a really neat kind of nightlight thing and it really actually does project the constellations on your ceiling so i'm gonna go ahead and just end the video here <laughs> i hope y'all got to see some of the pictures too Thank see y'all later for watching guys. guys it was a little bit of a longer video but i hope y'all enjoyed it i didn't realize it was gonna be that much to put together but uh if y'all enjoyed it please hit the like button if you'd like to see more videos from me it's probably gonna be somewhere over here if you'd like to subscribe, which is free and would help us get to a thousand, it's going to be over here and I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.